The fine-tuning or teleological argument is a common argument used by theists to argue for the existence of God, and it's a pretty powerful argument. The argument focuses on that the conditions that allow for life in the universe can only occur when certain fundamental physical constants are within a very narrow range. If one of many fundamental constants are off slightly, the universe would be unfit for the development of matter, astronomical structures, elemental diversity, or life for that matter. So since these things are so finely tuned, it appears that intelligent designer may have been involved in making sure these things happen so life could occur. Take for example the critical density of the universe. In the book The Language of God, Francis Collins explains how finely tuned this is. If the critical density was off by just one part in 10 to the 15th power, the universe would either collapse or expand too rapid for stars to form. This degree of precision is like taking $10 trillion in pennies, painting just one red, blindfolding someone, and asking him to pick out the red penny. The odds he will pick out the red penny are 1 in 10 to the 15th power. And this is just one of many characteristics of the universe that reveals extreme fine-tuning. The greatest and most finely tuned discovery to this day is the cosmological constant. While the critical density of the universe is finely tuned to 10 to the 15th power, the cosmological constant is finely tuned to one part in 10 to the 120th power. Meaning if the cosmological constant was off by just one part in a trillion 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 trillion, the universe would expand too quickly or not fast enough to form stars and allow life to exist. This, and other examples, is extremely good evidence that a creator had to have his hand in designing the universe. Because when you take all the finely tuned constants and put them together, the odds of them all happening by accident is far beyond exceptionally rare. However, despite this, this is not proof of God. There are alternative explanations as to why so many things are so finely tuned in the universe, and we theists need to accept that. Daniel Dennett, for example, has argued the multiverse theory, which states that it is possible there are countless other universes in addition to our own. Each universe has different properties, different laws, and different values of the basic constants of physics. And given countless other universes, Dennett thinks all the possible distributions of values over the cosmological constants would have been tried out. As it happens, we find ourselves in the one universe where the constants are such as to allow for the development of life. And this explanation could be true and explain why everything appears to be finely tuned. However, there is no guarantee that the process, which produces endless amounts of universes, would randomly set all the parameters in a way that every possibility is realized. It could be that there are constraints on the characteristics of these many universes, and the production process itself would have to be finely tuned in some way to guarantee that we get enough variety of universes. Also, suggesting there is an infinite number of universes, just to explain our own, is contrary to Occam's razor, which is the principle that says the best explanation is the one that makes the fewest assumptions. Arguing there is an endless amount of universes makes far more assumptions than arguing for an intelligent designer. Richard Swinburne says, It is the height of irrationality to postulate an infinite number of universes never causally connected with each other merely to avoid the hypothesis of theism. Given that simplicity makes for prior probability, and the theory is simpler the fewer entities it postulates, it is far simpler to postulate one god than an infinite number of universes, each differing from each other in accord with regular formula, uncaused by anything else. So there are problems with the multiverse theory, but Alvin Planting has noticed something else about it. He has demonstrated in the form of an analogy. It goes like this. Imagine yourself at a poker game. One of the other players is dealing the cards, and for the past 20 hands, he has dealt himself four aces each turn. After the last hand, you and the other players get up ready to shoot the guy. But suddenly the dealer says, I know it looks suspicious, guys, but possibly there is an infinite succession of universes, so that for any possible distribution of possible poker hands, there is a universe in which that possibility is realized. We just happen to find ourselves in the one where someone like me always deals himself only aces and wild cards without ever cheating. It could be the case you can't prove I'm cheating. So if you were at the game, how would you respond? Would you sit back down and assume that could be the case and keep playing? Or would you recognize that possibility is exceptionally rare and it is far more likely the dealer is cheating? That it is far more likely intelligence was used in instituting where the cards are going and it is not random chance that the aces keep ending up in the dealer's hand. That is exactly the same idea behind the fine-tuning argument. In everyday life, when we encounter situations that seem to be rigged, we do not assume it is chance. 
We know intelligent design when we see it. It could be the case that it is just random chance, but we know the odds are never in that favor. So when we encounter odds like the ratio of electromagnetic force to gravity being finely tuned to one part in 10 to the 40th power, or the cosmological constant being finely tuned to one part in 10 to the 120th power, logically we shouldn't say, well it's possible by accidental chance, there is a trillion 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 universes, and we just happen to be in the one that is capable of producing life especially when we encounter odds that high in a possible situation in life, like a poker game, we wouldn't believe it is just random chance. So although the fine-tuning argument cannot prove the existence of an intelligent designer, it shows us that the existence of God is far more logical than everything just happening by random chance.